Okay, welcome back. Now today, this is gonna be a little different. I got a mortar and pestle, because we're making pesto. With these little leaves, since, since they're all small, I have 75 in here. First up, I'm gonna chop up the garlic. I'm gonna use three cloves of this fresh garlic. Oh, great. Because I like garlic and pesto, and I like garlic in general. I'm gonna cut these up, and we're gonna use a food processor and the mortar and pestle so I can bruise the, the basil, get it to release its flavor better. But at the same time, I'm not gonna ruin my arms. So that's what we're doing. Now, first up is the garlic. Got my cold steel Voyager. Love this knife. Yeah, we're just using a little food processor. Got half a cup of olive oil too. You're gonna need a pinch of salt in with the basil. Now you can use one or two things of garlic. It's up to you. Yeah, I'm not so good at peeling garlic, to be honest. I'll be honest there. Yeah, I kind of suck at peeling garlic, I know. I, I know the tricks, but I can't really, I can't exactly administer them. I always suck at this. I'm probably gonna mash everything together in the pestle first. I mean the mortar. I cannot do that. I'm not gonna be dicing this garlic. I'm just gonna be. Okay. I need a bit of sharpening. And yeah, we'll see. I don't care if I really, I don't really care if I scratch the garlic. It's gonna get sliced up anyway. Yeah, there's pine nuts. Someone, a friend said that they heard about that pesto used peanuts. I've never heard that. If you have any info on that, let me know down below, please. Because that's interesting. I could see why it would be done since pine nuts are fucking expensive. Not doing like good fellas where using a razor it can get it so thin it'll freaking dissolve in a little oil. Oh boy. Using my trusty little using my trusty little wood carving board. Or, uh, cutting board, but I not talk. You know, I really gotta plan this shit better. Now I'm gonna that. I'm going to bruise the stuff together first. Got some kosher salt there. I don't know if I pointed that out. Oh, almost got my finger. I don't want to do this all fancy. Don't need to. This stuff's getting mashed up into a friggin' paste anyway. I'm going to add some kosher salt to the mortar and pestle. Act like a ball bearing almost. I'm not a professional, so just do this however works. Once it starts to break down, it breaks down or starts to pretty dang quick. I'm actually going to put this into the processor now and then I'm going to crunch up the pine nuts. This is a little one. Like I said, there's 75 leaves in this sucker, so... Now, I'm going to actually get this off and wipe it off. Because I don't want to get too, too wet or else it won't be able to also be a pain. Now I'm going to take a, a handful of this stuff. That's about it. I'm going to add a little more. Here. 
here by mashing it down. Since we have a paste now, now, All right, now this is going to get loud, so if you're wearing headphones, don't blame me. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of the olive oil. Again, we got half a cup. That was pretty good. Stay like that. Shit. Learn something new every day. Add, a little, add the rest of the olive oil, and now we're gonna add the cheese. This is about the same amount each of grated, fresh grated Parmesan and fresh grated Romano. I'm actually gonna add just a tiny bit more salt. I don't think I forgot anything, but that's what it looks like, and uh, actually, ow. yeah, I get hurt a lot in these damn videos. We're going to get it off this sucker here, and yeah, it's not as green as other pestos, but I'm using small leaves here. I'm using small basil leaves here. We're using small basil leaves, so... Really? There's your pesto. Oh, <laughs> there's your pesto. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, shoot.